What's up you guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm gonna teach you how to set up your PSP5 Universal Phantom Power Supply. This is a great setup if your mixer or interface doesn't supply phantom power. But let me explain what phantom power is. Phantom power is just the term for the 48 volts needed to power any condenser microphone. So without phantom power, your condenser mics won't work. This is where the PSP5 comes in handy. So as you can see, it comes with the power supply box itself and a power adapter. So the first thing you can do to set it up is take the female end of your power adapter and plug it into the PSP5. Then you'll just take the other end and plug it into a power outlet. So now we can turn on the PSP5 by pressing this power button right here. And you'll know that it's on when this power light here is lit up. So now that this is all set up, let me show you how it works with a condenser microphone and a powered speaker. All right, so here I have my powered speaker that does not have a phantom power source and my condenser microphone that I'm going to use with my PSP5 to connect to my speaker. But before we make any connections, let's start with the microphone volume all the way down on my speaker to avoid any unwanted noise or feedback. So first I'm gonna wanna connect my microphone to the power supply with one XLR cable. I'll just wanna take the female end of the XLR cable and plug that into my microphone. Then I'll take the other end and plug that into the XLR input on my power supply. So now I'm gonna need another XLR cable to plug the power supply into my speaker. We'll do that by taking the female end of our second cable and plugging that into the output on our power supply. Then we'll take the other end and plug that into the XLR input on our powered speaker. So now we can raise the mic volume on our speaker. And now you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speaker. Now this is a great setup if you wanna use a condenser mic with a powered speaker. And the setup would be very similar with a channel on a mixer that doesn't have phantom power. Now I can also use the PSP5 in studio for recording and podcast setups for any pieces of gear that don't have phantom power built in. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so here I have my computer with my DAW open, my Focusrite two channel interface, and my Line 8 8 channel line mixer, which is great for adding up to eight inputs that we can use with multiple microphones that we can use with the two channel interface so that we don't have to go out and buy an expensive interface with more than two channels. Now this Scarlett 2i2 does have phantom power built into it. However, it only gives us two channels to work with. So if I wanted to record more than two microphones with the interface, I would want to use something like the line mixer here. However, the Line 8 doesn't have a phantom power supply. So if we wanted to use the condenser microphone with the Line 8 mixer, we would have to run it to the PSP5 first to power up the microphone, which will then run to our Line 8 mixer, to our interface, and to our computer for recording. So now let me show you just how to set it all up. Now we'll want to start by setting the input settings on our interface to line mode here. Then we'll want to set the line 8 to mono mode so that we're using each input individually as its own channel. So just like before, we'll connect our condenser microphone to the PSP5. Now to connect the PSP5 to the line 8, we'll need a female XLR to quarter inch cable. We'll take the female end of the XLR and plug it into the XLR output on the PSP5. Then we'll take the other end and plug it into a channel on our line 8. Let's use channel one for today. Then to connect the line eight to our interface, we'll need two TRS quarter inch cables. We'll take one end of both cables and plug them into the A and B outputs on the back of the line eight mixer. Then we'll take the other ends and plug them into the quarter inch inputs on our interface. So now that everything is connected, I can then raise the gain knobs on my interface. And since we're using channel one on our line mixer, I'll raise the volume knob for channel one and then raise the volume knob for channel A and B so that the stereo signal is coming into the computer. So now if I record enable each track, you should be able to see signal coming into each channel. So now all we have to do is hit record. Check one, two, this is Perry from Rockville testing out my PSP5 with the Line 8 mixer. So again, this is a really great setup if you wanna record a podcast with both dynamic and condenser microphones, or recording with a band with drums or a singer who wants to use a condenser microphone. And the PSP5 and the Line 8 together really make a great setup if you're at a gig or event and the front of house mixer doesn't have enough channels available, but you wanna use both condenser and dynamic microphones with a drum set. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your PSP5 Universal Phantom Power Supply. However, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.